Hey guys, my name is Sony, and today I got news for you. Um, the graphics uh, for the game are changed. Uh, we kind of mixed them up, and it's definitely not the final stage, but uh, it's still a good progress for my friend. She's trying to learn how to use Photoshop as she never used it before. And she's making a good progress, especially um, with those rocks. I really like them. We'll probably um, delete the shadows and we will probably change a lot of stuff. But uh, right now I'm happy that I'm not alone as I don't really, um, I'm not really talented uh, when it comes to graphics. So. I'm happy that uh, she's helping me. What I wanted to show you next was um, the new way I create images. I have set up um, image factories and um, this way I can like preload all the images and keep them like singletons. Well, I will keep only one instance of that um, image and then I will uh, like re reuse it. Um, this way you can save a lot of memory. So I went from um, 150 memory use to like 30 memory use. Um, that's a really good performance boost. <laughs> um, so uh, I wanted to answer some question I believe. Uh, let me see. Someone was asking me something before, and I promise that I will answer uh, in this video. So let me check. No, it wasn't here. It was a comment to a video. Yeah, I believe this one. Oh, yeah, the way I um, treat uh, my objects so they are drawn over each other. It's not that simple. Um, well, it is simple when it comes to um, when it, when you see it. It uh, it really is simple. Uh, the way I treat objects is that I compare them in the list. I'm actually sorting the list here and here. Before I print the objects, I sort them. How I s how do I sort them? Uh, I have implemented my own um, comparator, which is here, and I'm comparing um, the x coordinate of both those objects and the z coordinate. Z coordinate in this particular case is the base of the object, like uh, well. Um, Let's say um, I'm going to open some image. Uh, whoops, it's too small. Let's pick a uh, frag. All right. Um, this, this corner is the X and Y coordinate. Um, this, this is uh, the object height and Z is Y coordinate plus height. So um, X and Z coordinate is here. You can call it whatever you want. I use Z just well for apparent reasons X, Y, Z. Um, so when you're co comparing objects using these coordinates, you can simply say which one is uh, in the foreground, which one is in the background. As um, when when um, frex z is um, higher than this trees z coordinate, it is um, fred is drawn before, well, after the tree is drawn. And if I move a little bit back, then fred z coordinate is lower than the trees. You need to implement. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty simple actually. I think um, 
kind of overdoing this in the comparison here. I'm comparing x coordinates for some reason. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think you need to compare x coordinate. I think you need to compare only only z coordinate as this should matter. Whatever, but this is the simple rule how to do it. And one more thing. Um, how did I fix the? I I, I think I had some problem with the um, object being dropped on the ground. Yeah, and I didn't want my character to be drawn underneath them. And I think I I have fixed that um, somehow, <laughs> but but I cannot remember how. Yeah, I think this is the fix. So um, when Fred is walking over something, that object will always be drawn uh, before Fred. This way, um, Fred will walk over anything. Well, anything that he's able to pass through. All right, that's it for today's update and see ya in the next one.